Well, hello. Welcome to my Magical Readathon Autumn Equinox TBR video, where I dress up like my character, a wildling elf, and talk about the books that I plan to read for my courses. If you have never participated in Magical Readathon, or you have no idea why I'm dressed like a weirdo, or what I'm talking about, uh, one, where have you been? with the least amount of judgment possible, of course. But also, I will link G at Book Roast. She is the one that puts together this whole readathon. She does an amazing job. She puts so much effort into it. And yeah, you should definitely check it out and join in. So, a little piece of business first, and then I will get right into the TBR because it is very hot in this cloak, honestly, in July. One, uh, completely not important at all to anyone but me, but I just thought I would let you know I changed my character's name. So originally I had named her Iriana because I couldn't think of anything else at the time, but Iriana was actually the name of my human warlock when I played World of Warcraft back in the day, and it just didn't feel right, so I came up with something else, and now she's gonna be Zindira Lightfoot. So hi, my name is Zindira Lightfoot, I am a wildling elf, and let's get into the books. My course of study is Healer, so for that I have to take Elemental Studies, I have to get an O in Elemental Studies. Again, if you don't know what I'm talking about, I'm not going to go into a big explanation, but you should definitely check out G's video in the description. So I need to get an O in Elemental Studies, I need to get a Q in Alchemy, and I need to get a D in Restoration. For Elemental Studies, I needed to pick a book with Earth in the title, and for that I picked... I was between two, and I actually put up a poll on YouTube last week, I think, and asked what your opinion was. And most people said go with the shorter book, so that's what I'm going to do. But I'm going to mention both just because I really wanted to read the other book, but it's just so long, I don't think I'm going to get to it. But uh, don't mind my little dangly bit here. <laughs> um, so what I will be reading for this is Earth's Daughter by Eve Longley, if that's how you pronounce it. I don't know, the picture will be on the screen. But I don't know anything about this. It's a short book that I found when I just searched on Goodreads for books that had Earth in the title. And so yeah, that's what I'm going to read for this prompt. But if I have time in the month, I also really want to read House of Earth and Blood by Sarah J Maas. That is the 800 page book that I don't think I'll have time for, but I really want to read it. So we're just going to kind of keep that as a backup. For my O in Alchemy, I have to read... I really don't remember what it was. It was like something to copper. Uh, but it was to read the first book in a series, and for this I am going to read Lord of the Rings by J.R.R. Tolkien. My husband has been wanting me to read Lord of the Rings forever. It's one of his favorite series of all time, so I definitely want to pick this up. It fit onto my TBR Bakery TBR, which is my regular TBR game. Uh, that will be up shortly after this video, so if you want to check that out, come on back in a few days, I guess, if you're watching this when it comes out. Um, but yeah, I'm super excited about this. It's very classic fantasy. I've seen the movies and I loved them. I'm dressed as an elf, so clearly that's the kind of fantasy I'm into. <laughs> and yeah, I'm excited to read this. Okay, and then to get my cue in alchemy, I have to read a book. The prompt was like copper to silver and it was to continue a series. So for this one I'm going to take it a little easy on myself and I'm going to read the second volume of Spy Family by Tatsuya Endo. I read the first volume a few months ago. I really had mixed feelings on it. I didn't think it was really necessary. I didn't feel like anything really happened but I do know that they had to build up the characters and kind of like set the background so I'm definitely willing to give it more volumes to decide if I actually like it or not. So that's what I picked for my cue in alchemy. For restoration, I like I said, I have to get a D, so that means I have to read three books to get a distinguished. Is it distinguished? I think it's distinguished. So for an O in restoration, I have to start a book before bed. So for that, I'm going to read Role Playing by Kathy Yardley. I have this on my Kindle. I usually read on my Kindle before I go to bed. I have been hearing really good things about this book, and it just sounds like so much fun. It's kind of like an older romance, like the characters are a little bit older, they're kind of in middle age, and I haven't really read a lot of that, so I think it'll be fun to read. It's kind of like D&D &D inspired, or like they met through some sort of like online role-playing game, um, 
and then it goes from there. So I'm excited to read it. It sounds so cute. To get the cute in Restoration, I have to read a book in a different spot every time I pick it up. For that, I'm going to go easy on myself again and pick a nice small book. This is again from my TBR Bakery TBR. It's a nice short middle grade. It is Alana the First Adventure, the first book in the Song of the Lioness Quartet by Tamora Pierce. This will be a reread for me. This was one of my favorite series when I was growing up and I'm just really excited to read it again. We're following Alana. She's a young girl who wants nothing more in this world than to be a knight. So she disguises herself as her brother Tom and enrolls in training at the palace to become a knight. And lastly, to get my D in restoration, I have to use a random number generator. Nope not a number generator, a random letter generator, and find a book that the title begins with that letter. So I used a random letter generator and I got the letter L. And again, I have two for this. Uh, the one that's more likely to be read is Laura Olympus Volume 2. I read the first volume during the spring equinox of Magical Readathon and I really enjoyed it. The art wasn't really my favorite, but the story was cute enough that I want to continue, or interesting enough that I want to continue. And my second option for that depends on if I finish one of the books that I'm reading in July, and I don't think I'm going to, but I also really want to read Labyrinth's Heart by M.A. Carrick. It is the third book in the Rook and Rose trilogy. Um, the first one is Maps of Mirrors. I'm currently reading The Liar's Knot, and again, I don't know if I'm going to finish it in time, so I'm just going to kind of hedge my bets and use Laura Olympus for this one. So that is all the books for my actual courses to become a healer. But I also wanted to talk about the books that I'm planning on reading to get my little impling, which is kind of like the side quest for this round of Magical Readathon. And for this one, we have to, again, I'm gonna just check out her video. She explains it a lot better than I'm going to, but basically she has six prompts and each book that you choose has to bridge two prompts. So each book has to fit at least two prompts, but it can fit as many as all of them. So I managed to pick two books that will fill all of them. And those books are Finley Donovan Jumps the Gun uh, by El Casamano. That one will fulfill um, One Letter Appears Twice in the title for A, released this year, uh, Blue on the Cover, Started at Night. I can start it at night. That's just like a, a gimme prompt. Um, and read from before author because obviously I read the other two books in that series. And then I also have to bridge the gap for the other ones because Finley Donovan does not fall between 400 and 450 pages. I had to find another book that fit read from before author between 400 and 450 pages and one letter appears twice. And for that, I am going to read Fame, Fate and the First Kiss by Casey West. Um, it is a read from before author. It is exactly 400 pages long and it has one letter twice. And that is the letter I in First Kiss. So those are all the books that I will be reading for Magical Readathon. Wish me luck. Like I mentioned, I also play my own TBR game and I have books for that to read. So it is going to be a reading filled month in the month of August. So yeah, wish me luck again. I need to end this video. It is getting so hot in here. But let me know if you are participating in Magical Readathon, what you're reading, what your class is, or what your calling is what you have to like what prompts you have to fulfill let me know all the things about your magical readathon and if you're interested in more magical readathon content from me i also have up a time blocking schedule of how i'm going to be reading my books and that is inspired by allison on a book break i'll also link her channel down below but you should definitely check that video out and i also have my stuff from spring equinox as well if you want to see me dress like this a little bit more <laughs> <laughs> it is so hot. Okay, that's it for this video. Good luck with your autumn semester, everyone who is participating, and I will see you in school. <laughs> Bye!